But yeah, we've got a uh, Kurt Busch brought us back because we have a clip from Steve O'Donnell from NASCAR who talks about one of the executives at NASCAR. And he's talking about how NASCAR's uh, their topics and goals for 21, how COTA was included on that. So let's go ahead and hear from Steve O'Donnell from NASCAR. Uh, we also learned that, um, you know, from a NASCAR scheduling standpoint, you know, we didn't want to go somewhere and be one and done. It was important for us to, you know, know we're going to go into a market, learn some things, and then how do we improve upon that? So you looked at COTA, Formula One, as, as you've said, you know, we wanted to make sure we didn't go in there and, and uh, you know, embarrass ourselves in terms of, okay, what's NASCAR going to do here? How's this going to work? But when you look at our road course product really over the last few years, it's, it's been terrific. And, and once again, our drivers continue to prove that week in and week out. You know, the weather certainly caught us. We have uh, said we're now going to race in the rain. Uh, I think we had some critics, rightly so, in terms of how far that went. Definitely learned some things um, from that that we can apply when we go back to Coda. Hopefully we've got great sunny weather because the, the fan base was unbelievable there. Uh, the town, a great place to go racing. And I think everybody to a person in the industry thought, hey, this is this is awesome for the sport. Go ahead, Jonathan. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I actually think when I look back at 2021, that NASCAR event at Cota was probably the most underrated story of the year. And what I mean by that was 80,000 people showed up. It poured with rain. There were some heavy crashes and NASCAR's not used to racing in the rain. Although, of course, that it's entirely possible, uh, especially at a road course. Um, and Steve, uh, Steve Phelps, um, if you like, audacity to come and race at a Formula One track and, and take NASCAR to new venues and new audiences, really, really impressive. And I think it is going to work for many years to come. And more importantly, it's changing the face of NASCAR because now NASCAR is getting more road race courses. And that's also attracting young drivers. And I know this from being in Trans Am who want to do Trans Am to learn the road courses and be good at road race, uh, road course racing so that they can get into NASCAR. Oh, that's good. I hadn't thought about that. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's really something else the way that's kind of cross pollinating there and it's creating, I mean, to me, it's raising both of the sports or genres, if you will, up on that. And I uh, was talking with our, our guest earlier about some of the different uh, events, the different racing genre, and how they have changed how, what some driver's future looks towards. And so we'll, we'll have some interesting comments on that later. Mm.